Hello. First of all, I think I need to broke something <laughs> with my fear of speech. So first of all, I want to say that this is really huge honor and at the same time big challenge for me to speak in front of you, such a respectful audience. And I will try with my poor English uh, to speak a little bit about myself and about my works. Um, so as far back as I remember, I had a pencil and pen in my hand, so it doesn't matter um, time and place, I always wanted to draw. Um, at the beginning it was like unconscious um, habit, so Musa stopped drawing and take a book instead. This was the words I have heard all my childhood from my father and there were some moments um, when I heard uh, his car voice, car voice, I just immediately um, hide my painting tools and take a book for reading, um, pretending I was reading. So <laughs> Sooner or later, the time came I need to apply to the university and the uh, Art Academy was my one and only choice. But at the same stage, my parents had uh, like um, zero hope that I will get there because all my uh, child and um, school time I was drawing and not doing like <coughs> school works. So, um, my application process is um, another story for another time and um, at the end, long story short, um, I have um, uh, accepted to the Arts Academy and I got both a uh, full scholarship and a stipend as well, so this was a really huge um, proud moment for my father and he believed in me and he believed in my strong will, so this was a huge uh, first um, horizon of the freedom that I can learn and do the work I mostly loved. So, but um, unfortunately Art Academy was really huge um, disappointment for me, uh, for my um, expectations and I tried to take my um, fortune in my hands and try to solve development at this year in 2008. Um, I uh, tried to um, take a part in a little uh, street art uh, competition between universities and I took second place there. So this was my really big motivation to continue uh, drawing on the walls and um, after it became my hobby. So I didn't stop there and I started working in the famous Georgian publishing house um, and um, it was a big um, like motivation and experience for me. After time by time um, I exchanged my jobs to the publishing, to the advertisement and um, etc. So at the end I was an art director in the um, Holson Watson, one famous Georgian advertisement agency and at the end, uh, two years ago, I just decided um, to leave my whole time uh, works and just fully dive in the street art industry because at the same time uh, street art and wall art took a part, big part and main part in my personal uh, interests uh, and professional interests as well. So um, at the first time it was just a, like a um, hobby, then it was uh, like child protest and rebellious acts, but time after time I realized that as an artist and as a street artist had a really huge tool in my hand to speak with the people in the streets, walking on the streets, who are not going in the galleries and um, see the artworks inside. So um, I realized that I need to uh, take some good uh, way and choose some road for me so I decided and um, it happened like that that I just started working on the really huge issues as a uh, social uh, issues as the um, 
um, inequal gender inequality about the children about our future in general so the um, I had work uh, in the many uh, kind of uh, projects and um, I had I will show you some of them uh, uh, so this project is about the kids, uh, I made it in Kutaisi, uh, kids about uh, who are living and working outside ho their houses and uh, in the streets. So uh, this uh, little kid is living in the cardboard um, house and uh, with his uh, teddy bear he um, tried uh, asks for charity uh, and uh, background he's drawing uh, speaks about uh, his dreams, his family, uh, about toys and the life he wants to have. So at the first time when I was in the process, when I was drawing this, uh, all the people coming and seeing this child, oh so cute, he's so cute and so well. And after uh, they see the whole picture and the um, concept of this and the idea of this painting, uh, they really started to think about the children who are really live these lives and so on. So um, another um, painting I want to share with you is um, the last one, the huge um, mural I have had uh, the first huge mural like a 316 square meters uh, I painted it uh, in the eight days <laughs> it was uh, for the Tbilisi mural festival among this uh, mural festival I tried to speak about the uh, global problems and uh, problems about which we have in our cities, in our countries, and uh, pro pro problems which are um, unites the whole the world. So these are the children. They are angry and they are sad, uh, and they are in front of the problems about the wars, about the um, uh, global warming, about poverty, about the air uh, pollution, and so on. So. Uh, all these my um, paintings, uh, it's a, a really big pleasure for me to paint something. Uh, maybe it's uh, 12, 16 hours I'm standing with mm, front of walls and I'm not getting t tired anymore. But because uh, all the energy I give to these walls, uh, at the end when I see what I'm doing and what it became, uh, it, it came back me to like a feedback really huge energy so uh, my main uh, aim for this time is that uh, to speak about all the problems we have every day in everyday life uh, and we don't remember them because we are trying to just uh, live in our little bubbles and do the things just for us and for ourselves and for our family and uh, I think this is a um, really huge tool for me to the speak about the problems and I want to say uh, to the people and the uh, main thing is that I want to take Georgia uh, um, in the main uh, point of the global uh, map industry, arts industry as well. Thank you. <laughs>